Yeah? Yep. Okay, hi everybody. Um, it's uh, the end of February 2011. Um, got nothing hatching today. In fact, don't even have any eggs yet. We're waiting on that. First clutch is here pretty soon, but uh, we're going to have a quick look at, um, at my head albino carpets. She's ovulating again, thank God. And then we're going to have a quick look at some olive pythons. So, um, let's open those up here. And I'm just going to take the male out of the cage with her now, and I'm going to put him in with somebody else. But, um, wait, I'll just get him out first. This is the, the Jag head albino. And I'm just going to put him in with this female over here. Just like that. Yeah, this is our really nice day glow jag. So I'll put them in there. That's cute. And uh, yeah, this female, she is ovulating actually yesterday and today still. I'll just pull her out here and you can have a look at what ovulation actually looks like. You can see she's just. Massively like hard as a rock here. Uh huh. Um, like she swallowed a really big meal. I don't want to bother her too much, but uh, but yeah, she's ovulating on the same day she did yesterday. It's unbelievable. Oh, the same day as uh, yesterday. I Come mean, on. Same, same day. Same day as last year. I mean, same day as <laughs> last year. So it's like uh, just like clockwork with her. It's amazing. I can't get her back yet. Yeah, so pretty cool. That's yeah. Where we'll have the vinyl carpets again. Put <clears throat> back in there. Okay. Now, um, I had some people ask me about olive pythons and, uh, you know, how hard they are to look after and all that stuff, but, uh, so I'll have a quick look at a female here. All the pythons are actually super hardy, uh, very easy to look after. Um, they always eat, they always shed. Fact, I've never had an olive python have a stuck shed, no matter how dry the cage is. Um, Not that you would ever keep they, the cage dry. Well, I do. I don't keep them damp, but they always shed. They're, they're actually amazing snakes. They kind of, their personality kind of reminds me of a retic in that they're always kind of food crazy and um, kind of a little unpredictable but usually once you get them out they're fine Here. so this is a, this is an adult female well she's big um, she's about uh, well she's a 2003 so she's eight years old now. So that's about how big they get. I mean, they can, I guess they can get a little bit bigger than this, but she's a good good size adult. So what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to go get the male, and I'm going to put the male in with her. But yeah, they're just, they're incredibly easy things to look after. I mean, there's nothing you have to do special with them, just, just a cage and feed them. And you feed them. <laughs> that's, that's about it. They're easy to breed too. Uh, well, it seems like they are. I haven't had any trouble. You just put the mail in around this time of year or, or even a little early. This is actually kind of late to be putting the mail in, but I just wanted to fatten the female up a little more, so we'll just grab the mail now. He must be excited. He's a little smaller, as you can see. Yeah, I can see that he's smaller. Probably only because I don't feel him. Alright, in with your girlfriend, buddy. Nice babies. I don't know. What else do you want to look at? Let's look at some of uh, the ball pythons that you had from before that you didn't show anybody. 
What was it called? The what? Um, well, know. I did have a few people ask me about that one baby we didn't know what it was. Oh yeah, the mystery baby. Yeah, it turned what out to be... What a giant disappointment. It turned out to be just a completely deformed mutation and it actually died before it ever even got, got out, out of the egg. egg. So, so that was a big bummer. So there was nothing, nothing at all. But, uh, we did hatch out the Super Blast. They're doing good. Yeah, so, so see the Super Blast. Surprise in the shed right now. Wow, and, uh, cool. They're nice. Nice. It's, no, that's really and, nice. Um, actually, yeah. And here's a desert that I recently bought Picked for myself. Up. Yeah. Um, it's a desert head albino. I wanted to get some kind of desert combo, but unavailable. They seem to be really hard to come by. But I'm really looking forward to breeding him. They really combine well with other morphs. They're, you know, they, Super. they're awesome. And, uh, well, this is kind of cool too. Pastel clown. She's doing good, nice and fat. Did you produce that? Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at you go. And I just got to get a male. She's a female. But, yeah. A male clown or a male? No, I, I need a pastel male. Cool. Clown. Right? Yeah. That's what that's what we need to buy. <laughs> oh, oh really? Oh yeah. okay, I'll put that under my we check my list of things one. to do. We need to buy one. And then oh uh, this is kinda cool too. This is the fire bee that we hatched up last year that I'm keeping. Wow. One of them. Look at that. It's doing really good. It hasn't shown any interest in breeding yet, but uh looks good. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome feeder. Yeah. Cool. So that's it until you lay some eggs. Yeah, that's it, I guess. So, um, unless there's something else you want to look at. Nope, that's it. That's good. All right. Bye. Bye.